Hello everyone, today I'm going to review Cambridge Satchel's Leather Folio Backpack. I got this on sales when it was like approximately 200 Canadian dollars and I really love the design of this minimalistic backpack. First of all, the metal hardware on this is simply beautiful. I love how it opens and closes with this um, steel bar closure system. I find that it is very unique and I haven't seen this on any other backpack before. The straps on the backpack are very long and thin and they are also adjustable. The quality of this backpack is excellent, the material is very sturdy and it feels nice to the touch. The backpack is also very lightweight, it weighs about 0.8 kilograms or 1.75 pounds. One stylistic feature that I really like about this backpack is that it channels a vintage vibe and it looks really sleek when you are wearing a semi-formal slash business casual outfit. I just find that it looks more like a grown-up backpack but with an unconventional twist to it. I'm sure you guys have read and heard many glowing reviews of the brand and so let's move into some of the cons of owning this specific backpack. So first of all, it is a fairly small backpack and you can see a size comparison here with the purse that I use on a daily basis. Here's another side-by-side -side comparison with a typical backpack. Because of the dimension of the backpack, it is actually too small to fit a 13-inch laptop. As you can see, the laptop is uh, longer and also taller compared to the backpack. So what can fit in here? At its maximum capacity, I can fit into it a small novel, a small notebook, my compact umbrella, and also my tiny wallet. But even then, I have to Tetris my belongings into the backpack because its width is very small. And lastly, I'm fitting in a small pouch. So this is really not a lot of stuff, but you can see my umbrella is bulging out at the end. If you're not someone who carries around a lot of heavy or big items, then this is perfect for you. It is not a backpack that you can travel with due to the size restriction. So hopefully this review has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will reply to you. Thank you for watching!